Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing kind of a different video. I got the new e.l.f. lip plumping pens that are supposed to be like a dupe for the Tarte Maracuja. I don't actually have the Tarte Maracuja, so this is kind of a bad comparison. But I'm just going to be reviewing them in general. I have a lot of lip products, so I'm decently qualified at reviewing lip products. As far as like other makeup... Um, I don't have a ton of other makeup and I haven't tried a ton of things, but I did get the e.l.f. What is it called? Camo Liquid Blush. Um, this is in the color Coral Crush because I wanted something kind of summery. I'm wearing it right now, um, but I will be trying and testing that one. And I only got four of the lip plumping pens because I knew the other like two or three colors wouldn't look good on me because they're too light. For my skin tone but i wanted to try those while i did a little just life update i feel like i don't really talk about my actual life very much on here so i wanted to talk about it and talk about kind of the struggles of being an early graduate i'm not an early graduate yet but i will be in the next three months here so um yeah i just wanted to chat about it chat about my life while we tried some lip plumping pens. Okay, the first thing I'm going to update you on is school. So I'm in my last semester of college. I'm doing my bachelor's degree um, in interior design. A lot of people don't know like what interior design is and everyone just thinks it's like HGTV um, and like all we do is like decorate. Um, but that's very, very far from the truth. And there's like an advocacy movement going on right now to, to advocate for interior designers and give us more credit, I guess, for what we do. We do a lot more like floor plans and ceiling plans. And sometimes we work on electrical plans and um, just things like that. Like in school, I've even gone as far as like doing the outside of the building. Um, not to the degree that an architect does at all, but, like, it's just so much more than decorating, um, and just, like, choosing pretty things. That's part of it. Like, choosing finishes is definitely a part of it, but there is so much more that goes into it, and it is truly something that I feel like you have to have a degree for and get certified. So, um, yeah, I've been in school for that for the past four years since covid um so my first year was completely online and i go to michigan state university um i have like moving vlogs from there so if you haven't seen i'm kind of at like a confused point in my life i feel like it's very common post-grad to just be like i don't know what i want going forward and i don't like outside of my career i'm only 21 so there's lots of time so i'm not like awfully worried about it but it's kind of just like hmm what's next type of thing um so yeah i'm currently working an internship and i really like it so hopes are to continue that after graduation um at a higher degree as far as like my living situation i do want to like live on my own um not because not that there's anything wrong with like living at home like it's totally justified for saving money and just if you want to and there's nothing really like wrong with my living situation but it's kind of just like something i want to do is just live on my own um i'm sure like if you're at my age you can understand um but it's not set in stone i could very well end up living at home depending on my financial situation and just how things turn out um i don't kind of don't just have like the luxury to be like oh i'm gonna move out and like the market right now is not that good for rent so it all just kind of depends um i really don't foresee me living by myself though so i will have like roommates if i live on my own that's kind of where i'm at with everything i do want to get my master's degree also not set in stone um, but I want to get a master's in architecture while I work. Um, and yeah, YouTube is kind of just something I do on the side for fun. I am, like, very excited to graduate, but also 
kind of nervous at the same time. I just feel like college went by crazy, crazy fast. And, like, people did warn me of that, but it it really just flew by. And I don't even feel like I've spent, like, four years here. I feel like I've spent, like, two. Even less than that, to be honest. Um, which is kind of justified because my first year was all online, COVID style. So, I don't know. It's just been strange if you had your freshman or sophomore year during COVID. Let me know if this is something you can relate to. But, um... Yeah, it's went by extremely fast. A lot of my friends are going to grad school. Everyone's just at like a different point in their lives. And I feel like it's social media. That, like this is kind of the first time that social media is so prevalent, I guess, that it can really make you feel like you're either behind or, I mean, I don't know if people feel ahead, but behind is one of the things and just like comparing yourself um i saw this tiktok the other day where this girl was like everyone in the their like early 20s is either a travel guru or like having kids and married or still in grad school like everyone's just really at a different point um in their lives and it's just so easy to compare yourself but comparison really is like I don't remember the saying, but like comparison, oh, is a thief of joy. Like that is so true. It's so important to just remember that you're on your own timeline and that, you know, just to take it at your own pace and that we are so young. Like if you're 21, 22, graduating college, like you have your whole life out of you and it doesn't have to be all perfect and figured out. And I think that's something I really just seen that even in the past like two months have gotten so much better at like reminding myself of is that I'm very young and I don't have to have it figured out and that's helped me a lot because I kind of was really stressed about it before but now I'm thinking that it'll all just work itself out in due time and um everything will be okay but I know it's very much easier said than done to just not worry about things because obviously, I mean, you should worry to an extent because otherwise you're not going to be working towards your goals. But um, I guess just having your blinders on sort of um, in a way so that you can just focus on yourself and where you're at and your journey because life is truly a journey, which sounds cheesy, but it's true. Like, it is very much a journey um, to where, I don't know. But <laughs> it really just feels that way because you never know what's coming next or what changes will happen in your life. So, yeah. Oh, that's the eyeshadow look. I really like it. I just used this palette, Maybelline Lemonade Craze. I'm probably going to use this during spring break because it's so summery. Um, I don't have any liners, so I'm just going to do mascara. I love this telescopic mascara. I've heard some people say they don't like it. Mostly I've heard people say they like it, but I really like it. It makes my lashes so long and like separates them really well. It probably would look good with some liquid liner too, but I'm going to try the camo blush. Elf has really been just slaying the game recently with their products. Like, they just dupe everything. And it's, like, so good. Okay, this is, like, so bright for me. Especially with my dark skin, but... I feel like it'll be cute for summer. And my makeup has been looking so dark recently that I need to add some... Oh my goodness. Add some color. It's like not too light but it's like cute for like a summer look and it like matches my eye makeup mm, i really like that i like a liquid blush it's nice okay i'm not very good at reviewing so for me 10 out of 10 i don't like blushes that are too pigmented either so i feel like 
the rare beauty one i don't have it but i've heard like you only need one dot i feel like for this you need like two or three um and it's like buildable so i could probably add a little more to be honest i really like that it looks so like natural too like i really like how it just like blends with the other makeup I have on. Now with the fun part, I'm gonna get into trying all of these. Okay, I don't have every single color. I think I'm missing like two, like the really light ones. I don't really wear super light lips because I have darker skin. Um, but if you're a brown girl with like a light, lighter skin, I guess I'm, I have lighter skin for like a brown girl, then this will probably be a good evaluation of what colors would look good on you. So, I've been always pretty conflicted between, like, having a brown lip versus having, like, a pink lip. Because I feel like pink, like, brightens my face, but the brown looks natural. So, I got kind of a mixture of both. Okay, the one first annoying thing is that the color isn't written anywhere besides on the bottom in, like, the smallest font. So... Um, luckily my eyes are still decent, and this one is, I, actually, it's, like, so impossible to read, but, uh, Bust a Mob, this is the one I've been really wanting to try, so, let's put it in my hand first, okay, it's like a glossy, like, bomb scenario, but that's what it looks like. I feel like you do have to like push it a lot to get like a decent amount. Maybe I just need to get it going. I really like this one. It is so like natural and I really like that. It's like a pretty natural everyday and they're so glossy and they have the little like minty feel. Okay, I'm gonna try this one next. Plum on over. I think this is the one that I was like kind of hesitant about because it's pretty like purpley pink oh yeah that's very pink this one isn't exactly my cup of tea <laughs> i don't think it looks awfully great on me but i see the vision it might just be like a very special occasion lip for me but i don't know if i could like stick this in my bag on a normal day <laughs> um yeah i would need like a specific event or something to be throwing this in my bag but it's very pigmented okay next i'm gonna try wicked cherry There's that one. It's like a dark brown color. Okay, this one I don't mind so much. It's a little bit dark for like an everyday look, but I could see myself wearing it for going out. It has like a nice brown color. It's not so much like cherry in my eyes, but it has like a little bit of a red tint. I think I like this one second best after Bust Mauve. Okay, lastly, I'm going to try this one um, in Red My Mind. Okay, this one's like a really bright red. Well, it's not like really bright. It's kind of sheer, but um, it kind of reminds me of Maybelline Baby Lips. Like the cherry one. I don't remember the name of it, but I used to wear that in uh, like middle school, to be honest. Like when I was first getting into lip stuff. And like it always looked so good on me, so I'm excited for this. Okay, I like this one a lot too, but I think again it would be kind of a once in a while thing. Probably not like an everyday look, but more just like whenever I wear a red lip, I would like throw this in my bag. Here is an up close look at the four different colors that I tried going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching and it was short and sweet um but i really just wanted to update you my life while i review these lip products i really do really really like them the only thing i don't like is kind of like how they come out 
I feel like you have to push it a lot of times and there's some clumps that come out and I haven't heard anyone talk about that. Um, so that's the only thing I would be kind of weary about. But other than that, I really like them. Um, I'm just very picky with my colors and I don't think everything looks good on me. But other than that, there's something really great to throw in your purse if you don't want to throw like a lip gloss and the lipstick in your purse. Like this is perfect combination of both. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time.